Let's take a look how to make the spiral flower in Illustrator and Photoshop. Okay, we're gonna start in Illustrator and I'm gonna click on the fill, click on the none, click on the stroke, select the color for it, and I'm gonna select the circle. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, create a perfect circle, press and hold Alt, drag it to the right, also press Shift, and I'm gonna release it something like this. Select both. Let's go to the properties and click on intersect. So we're left with the middle shape. Now I'm gonna go select the rotate tool, Press and hold Alt, click on this anchor point at the bottom, and I gotta go with 45 degrees. Click on Copy. Let's select both, press Shift plus M, or you can go and select the Shape Builder tool, and I'm gonna press and hold Alt and delete these two shapes. I gotta go and swap it from Stroke to Fill. Make sure that the fill is on the top, and I gotta go to the Gradients, Activate the gradients. Let's change it to a radial gradient. And I'm gonna press the letter G and pull this little square so you can increase the radial. And I'm gonna put it somewhere here. And I'm also gonna push the black a little bit more up and rearrange it till it's gonna look good. I think this will do. And now let's select the rotate tool again. Press and hold Alt, click on this edge anchor point here again. 45 degrees, click on copy, press control D, control D until it goes round and round. And now we got the shape, I'm gonna right click and group, press control C and let's go to Photoshop. I'm gonna press control V here, I'm gonna go with smart object, click OK, press and hold Alt, scale it up, double click release. I'm gonna go to the adjustments, scroll down and let's select the gradient map. Click on the gradient map and we're gonna add some colors. First is gonna be black, second is gonna be blue, some darker one, click OK. Third one is gonna be some something greenish. I think I'm gonna roll with this, click OK. Add another one, this is gonna be a yellow, click OK. And the last one, I gotta make it orange. Yeah, there you go, look at that, click OK. From here, click OK, and let's go back and click on the flower layer here. If your layer is not smart object yet, you can right click and convert it to smart object. And from here, we're gonna go to the filter, blur, and we're gonna select the Gaussian blur. Increase the blur, and as you can see, the more you increase, it is going to add these sharp edges, and that is going to allow it to look more realistic. Click OK, go to the filter, noise, add noise, Make sure to uncheck the monochrome and this is going to add a little bit more sharpness. In my case, I'm gonna go with somewhere around 13. Click OK and look at that. And this is how you make a beautiful Lotus spiral in Photoshop and Illustrator. Thanks for watching.